Hello everyone, so we meet again in my new video. So in this video, I want to explain how you can write a MATLAB code to solve problem and ODE using Euler method. So bear in mind that I'm not going to explain how Euler method works. So if you want to know, if you want to learn on this method, please watch my pre-recorded videos, my previous videos on this method, okay? So this video is just dedicated to MATLAB code on Euler method. So first and foremost, of course, I would like to, every time I write my code, I love starting with CLC and clear to clear everything and, you know, to erase all the saved variables. So first, then I'm going to introduce my function. So in this case, I'm using this equation here, y times x to the power of 2 minus 1.1 times y. So this will be my ordinary differential equation. So if you want to use Euler method, you need three things, which is the initial condition, your x and your y, and the step size. And you also need to know what is the value of x that you want to solve for y. Okay, so I'm going to ask the computer to ask the user to insert a value of x. So this is where I type in this line here so my variable is x x equals to input and this is the question that will be asked to the user please enter the initial value of x okay and then the next one is variable y please enter the initial value of y and the next variable is h which is the step size please enter the step size h now all of the data that is inserted by the user will be stored in all this variable. For the x, it will be stored in this x variable. For the step size, it will be stored in the h. And then another one is the final x. So the, you, the computer will ask the user to enter the value of x that you would like to solve for y. Okay, so there are four things that the user has to key in in order to use this program. So you can just directly write x equals to 1, y equals to 0, uh, h equals to 0 0.5. But then, every time you need to change the code. So if you're doing something like this, you only change the function. Okay, you don't have to change anything. Next is the iteration. You know, you know the Euler method, it works by iteration. So let's start with the first one, iteration number one, or the cycle number one, in which we use k equals to one. This is the first calculation. And then I'm using the while here, while x, this x is this x here, all right? While x is less or the same as final x, so the computer will do all this task here. As long as the x is less or the same as final x. When x is more than the final x, then it will stop the whole calculation or the whole cycle. So whenever x is still less than the final x, it will repeat to the second iteration, to the third iteration, and so on. Okay, until the value of x is equal to the final x. So, next is we specify the gradient. The gradient is just simply um, the function, this one. Okay, so all you need to do is just to substitute the value of x and the value of y for this iteration inside this function and you will get the gradient. And then we will ask the computer to print out the result the new value of y at x equals to something is equal to something and then the variable x and y. So here what it means is the value of x when x equals to whatever value in that iteration. And this one is the value of y, which is this one, in that iteration. So if this is in the first iteration, so the new value of y at x equals to 
probably one is uh, also one, the initial condition. If one and one is given as the initial condition, okay? So this followed this value and this one followed this y value. And then uh, the computer will calculate the new value of y. So in this case, I will call as new y. So this is another new variable introduced. New new y equals to, now this is the Euler equation. y plus step size times the gradient. Okay, so this is the equation. And then we're going to ask the computer to store all the results in this variable data in array it's called data in array okay so it will store in terms of this array here x y gradient and new y so x is just an, uh, the value of x y is the value of y this is the calculated gradient this is the calculated new y so for next one the next cycle we will put k equals to k plus 1 for the next cycle all right this one so if the current iteration is one it's like one plus one equals to two so it moves on to the second calculation or second cycle and then the new value of x is just simply your x plus your step size and the new value of y is whatever that you have calculated from this Euler equation and then it will repeat and repeat and repeat until you reach that final x, then it will stop. And after it has stopped, so this is how we present the result. We ask the computer to present the result. We ask the computer to transfer the result from array into a nice table. So this one is, we call it with a new variable, we call it as data in table. And then, this second line here, or maybe the next line, is where we ask the computer to rename the column. So, there will, they will be like um, four columns in the array or the table, which is the first column is X, the second column is Y, the third column is gradient, and the final column is new Y. But we need to put sort of like a title to the column. So, that's why we have this line here data in table dot properties dot vari variable names so this is like column one column two column three and column four so column one we would like the computer to rename it as x and it will put all the x value in the column and column two is for variable y column three is for variable gradient and column four is for the new y variable okay and then we ask the computer to display the summarized table is as follows. So display data in table. So we would like the computer to display this as our final result. Okay now, so let's run this script. All right. Okay, so the computer asks us to please enter the initial value of x. So let's say in this case, I want the x to be 0. And please enter the initial value of y. Let's say 1. Please enter the step size. I will put 0 0.5. And please enter the value of x that you would like to solve for y. So I would like to know the value of y when x equals to maybe 2 in this case. So this will be the result. And then, let's look at the table. The summarized table is as follows. Summarized table is as follows. So, and then display the data in table. So, we ask the computer to display this one. The data, the data in table, which we have converted the columns into the names of the variable. So, this one is column X column y, column gradient, and column new y. And our main answer or final answer when x equals to 2, y equals to 0 0.38715. Okay? Thank you. That's all.